Quantum Laser Pointers brings you the infamous double slit experiment right in the palm of your hand. In 1801, English physicist Thomas Young performed this experiment to determine if light was a particle or a wave. A laser shines a coherent beam of light through a film disc containing two parallel slits. Light striking the wall behind the slits produces a classic interference pattern. This surprising result means light passes through the parallel slits not as particles, but as waves. Visit our website or subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Be among the first to see our new line of double slit lasers. QuantumLaserPointers.com I can make no guarantees other than my discoveries. I am not an insurance company. You must take my word. You will have to rely on instinct, intuition, and imagination. This power station is not terribly important. It simply makes practical use of theories we have long known about. Rather than congratulate ourselves, we should all feel ashamed that it was not built earlier. The real work is yet to come. Now we must destroy distance. Our senses tell us about things that are close by. To know what is happening far away, we must be able to transmit scenes from other places over long distances. Pictures, the news, energy. Now we must liberate thought, we must set it free of limitations that space and time impose on it, and yet keep its principal characteristics. Now and in future centuries, my tower, that is reality. You will see. If in a thunderstorm, the Earth is struck by lightning, the force creates concentric waves which slowly expand to circle the world until they come back to where they started. This proves to us that the Earth's crust is a conductor of electrical energy. Now, if we were to produce large quantities of electrical energy and if we directed it into the Earth's crust, then that energy would travel in concentric waves. It's a new electrical system, completely different. I hope it will lead to a decisive answer to the problem of energy. We could have power for the factories, all of public transportation, all of industry. Once we'd accomplished that, greater discoveries lie ahead, just as long as we keep in step with nature. Each new discovery will lead to another and we will revolutionize life on our planet. The Earth's outer shell, remember, goes around the whole planet. Yes. Power will belong to everyone. Like the air we breathe, we send energy. All energy to the outer shell of the Earth, the ionosphere. Energy from the sea, the wind, energy from the sun. We no longer need to burn or destroy anything. We simply take what already exists and put it to our use in unlimited quantities. I can give the world all the power it can use. Clean power. There is no limit to the possibilities. Everything, the human voice, pictures, they're all just electrical impulses. Pictures and voices moving through the air without wires. Do you really want me to swallow that? According to you, energy is the big problem of the future. A life and death problem. And what we're using now, uh, the sources of energy are not inexhaustible. And they are poisoning our planet. I hadn't noticed that. Believe me, you will. Perhaps we can survive the poison. But there will come a day when the sources of energy will dry up. And then what, the whole shebang's gonna run down like a clock? Not with my project. You want me to... Believe all this is possible. But I have proved it already. Everything is in that file. All we have to do is apply it. One single source of energy. That's what this means. Right, Tesla? Yes, that is right. And anyone can draw on it, anyone in the world. I was afraid of that. Afraid? Yes, I was afraid that... I don't presume to tell people's fortunes, and I am not an inventor. Then what the hell are you? I am a discoverer. Supposing, just supposing he isn't crazy. That man could turn the world upside down, stand it on its head. Yes, I do believe he could. It's a wonderful prospect. Wonderful? Listen, if that lunatic can really do what he says he can do, have you any idea what's going to happen? No, sir. One source of energy, that's what's going to happen, just one. So anybody, anybody at all. Just stick an antenna up in his backyard and hook into it and 
We won't have anything left to sell but antennas. We'll be producing the power, and anyone who feels like it can milk our cow for free. Well, no thank you, Mr. Tesla. I'm not contributing to that charity. Write him a letter, Adams. Have it ready for me to sign in the morning. Yes, Commodore. What shall I tell him? Tell him. Tell him goodbye. <laughs> energy is created by destroying natural elements. That is a serious crime against nature and one day it's going to bring on catastrophe. The world is at a crossroads right now. And if we pass up this chance, we shall be held responsible by future generations.